Spongeware, are you okay with that? Oh yeah. Yep, Spongeware, post-Civil War. Yep. Now what about that glass piece? Oh, that, oh this is Spongeware. That's got decorated with a... Uh, uh, well, it's made a, in England. And they, they dabbed the decoration onto it. It's just a big pickup. Oh, it's the it's the kick in the bottom yep. of a wine bottle, yep. isn't it? Well, it's not wine, and if it's blue, it's not going to be wine. It's something else, maybe some sort of condiment bottle or something along those lines. But that's a kick up, and so it would rest like this. So here's your pontal mark here. There's the pontal right there. Gotcha. So yeah. it's like this. Yep. Yeah, this is not a wine bottle. I, you don't see wine bottle in this aqua blue because it, it the wine would spoil too quickly. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, this aqua here is very, very common right around the turn of the century. With beer bottles, but uh, show up with this color a lot, but usually not with that big of a kick up. Uh, I've seen these usually more because this is a pretty decent size. This could be more of a jar, you know, or yeah. uh, a jar like bottle. Yeah. It's a whole kind of type thing. Yeah, yeah. Like pickles. Mid nineteenth century earlier? Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. the way the pontal is here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell with this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Okay, last one. My first thought was tea leaf, but obviously I don't have the tea leaf in it. But it's got that same... That's what it is. You think it's tea luster leaf? Wear. Yeah, the uh, copper oh, luster probably wear. Probably is tea, yeah. tea leaf, yeah. 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 So again, okay. that's definitely late 1800s. Yeah, Very, yeah. It's not, it's definitely post-Civil War. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. 1880s, 90s, early 1900s. All right. Man, they have a beautiful set of that stuff sitting over the St. Gentry House in Bridgeton. Yeah. You know, they, they used to have a huge set of that stuff at the uh, Lincoln House in uh, Springfield, Which Illinois. <laughs> the, uh, okay, I haven't been in there. So. Okay. In fact, I, I almost got, I've been thrown out of many museums because I'm going <laughs> through there and here's all this tea leaf in yeah. the kitchen. And, and someone goes, is that the tea leaf that Mr. Lincoln ate off of? And they go, well, we suppose it could be. And I'm like going, no, it's not. That's like way too late. Right. Lincoln's dead yeah. by the time that stuff came out. <laughs> At yeah. which point they shoved me out the door and tasered me, right? For... <laughs> that would have been nice, though. So that's all right. Now, this stuff is made into the 1900s. I've seen cookie jars from the early 1900s that look like this. Yeah. But, um, you know, this is a later yellowware, but um, it's a, definitely a yellowware. Yeah. Banded annual wear, whatever you want yeah, to call it. Yeah. Something like that. So you think you mid to late 19th century? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, most of what I'm seeing here is that. It's post Civil War. Here's Which is the, not surprising given where we're standing yep. and, and how they fill these buildings in. Yep. Salt glaze? Oh, yeah. Okay. And what about that color to the interior of it? Well, this is stoneware. Yeah. Salt glaze stoneware. This reminds me of a bowl, too, but I'm not sure that it is. I can't place this. I've seen this before on certain types. Mm -hmm. this, this flat. Mm -hmm. It should go all the way around. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, now, what on the inside, it's just another glaze. Mm -hmm. There is no... It's just a dark brown glaze, probably. So this one actually like, hadn't been washed yet. It's so. not like Albany Thanks. slip. Yep. That's not it. Albany slip only shows up on that particular type of clay. So. Yep. So here's my little frozen Charlotte. Oh yeah. Very nice. Oh, I didn't see the color on the internet. Pink. Yeah, it just shows more, well, more white on the Facebook. Yep. Uh, pictures. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. You know what's funny is in direct sunlight you don't see the pink. Really? No. I'll be. It's in the, this yeah. class. This is the first time I've seen it with the pink issue too. Yeah. What's interesting about these? There was a restaurant that was built in the late 1800s up in uh, uh, Bismarck, North Dakota, and uh, you used to see those things embedded in the outside of the walls, all over the place. And there's a story that goes with them. It's a Germanic thing um, that. It's um, it's good luck or the the, the ubiquitous fertility uh, good luck, um, but but not fertility in terms of reproduction all the time, but but success in business, success in yeah. in things like that. And uh, so they would put these things literally embed them in the walls where you could see them, 
Now this obviously wasn't, but but uh, there's interesting stories that go along with these little dolls like that. Yep. This one was found uh, only about uh, 30 centimeters below surface. And of course it came really high up in the fills. In fact, we almost have, you know, for a while I thought we had almost had reverse stratigraphy here. That we mm -hmm. were getting the oldest stuff on the top and the, some of the newest stuff on the bottom. But you can't have that in this fill environment because you don't know where this fill comes from. It's, well, it's all, okay, it's all coming from the neighborhood. They're not bringing this fill in from New York. I mean, they're bringing well, no, it in I know from that. a couple of but blocks the away. Is, which one which hole, lot? how deep, That's where is right. it coming from? When yep. they're filling these things in, you never know. Yep. Yep. So yep. It's, you have no primary context. But. Some of these fills actually have a lot of fused glass, burnt brick, and stuff, which I, I view as the 1849 fire fills. Mm -hmm. And you're probably right. Too bad this doesn't have a marking on it. Yeah. And you don't have the, uh, you don't have the little, I forget what they call that. It might not be. Do you have any more of this? No. That's it? That's it. Yeah. Maybe it's just a little further out. Sometimes there's a little, uh, a little projection there. Yeah. So when you set your pipe down, it rests on that. Right. And stays upright. Right. You know, where instead of like this, it will, it will roll if you set it down on the table or something. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it's too bad there's no little mark or anything here. That could be, but I doubt it. No. The diameter of the hole is know. really is really small, and actually plays into the if you do well, that this size pipe, though, yeah, it, yeah. It, it comes really early. I mean, it actually comes before. Well, the I chicken. think this style of hole is fairly early. That's pretty tall. That's a big pipe. This would have had a stem yeah, probably like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, and we found yeah. we found Boku of the stem fragments. Oh yeah, we get lots of those. But we don't get any more of the bowl fragments. I wouldn't be so sure that that's not some messed up mark. That's pretty pretty uh, uniform okay. on the edge. You might okay. take a good close look at that under a microscope okay. just to take a peek. Okay. It might be a single letter. Sometimes it's just a single letter. Okay. Um, most of our metals iron. It's nasty corroded. It's one of our few uh, copper pieces, yeah. which I, I think is a rivet to like a piece of horse harness or something like that. Though it also kind of looks like a, uh, a, a collar cuff uh, button, cufflink, mm. but I think it's more likely. That's, I think that's too big. Yeah, I think it's horse that. harness stuff. I'd agree. And, and it looks like it's filigreed all the way around the edge, which is really nice. So if you can clean that up a little bit more, you should be able to see that. But it's got, it's the way the dirt, almost with the dirt on, it's easier to see. But it's, uh, it's, it's decorative, it's stamped. Very nice. That's a nice piece if, if you can clean that better. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. To That'll see. be tough. That'll be tough. Okay. Which fits well with tack. Yeah. Because they love the filigree, nice decorative stuff on yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we got two or three of these bottles that are cures. Uh huh. Have you, have you ever found one of those cure bottles? Because I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to cure. Oh, they're curing everything. Well, I know, I know. But Liver, what... kidney disease, you yep. name it. Hi! It's getting cured. So are you a student for extra credit or a tourist? Tourist. Tourist, welcome. We're uh, archaeologists from St. Louis Community College and Lindenwood University. And we've been doing an excavation right over there. And this is some of the glass and the pottery. Oh, there's a button that's trying to get away. Second. Scallop edge. Yep. Um, I've read conflicting things about how you classify these things. Yeah. You know, you can classify them based on the, the scalloping of the edge. Right. Or you can classify them based on this sort of feathery looking thing. And I saw you said feather on your yeah. Facebook yeah. thing. <laughs> I have no idea which way you go with this because you can see it both directions. Right. Um, potentially pretty early. Yeah. Late 1700s, probably at the earliest though. Yep. Green transfer wear. Yep. Um, now you know there was 40s, 50s. Yeah, and there was a big hotel right across the street that burnt down, and there was a hotel right at the street corner. Mm -hmm. And so this almost struck me as looking like a hotel plate kind of. But you pattern. find these in residential places all over the place. Really? The big Cochran Gardens project that Harl and I did. Yeah. We did two separate parts of it. Yeah. This stuff's every place, all over those residential areas. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So that I wouldn't okay. pigeonhole that okay. with hotels. Okay. Um, 
you, you'll get a pattern off of this. Wish I had just a little bit more. Yeah, we you'll got. Get a, you'll we, definitely get a pattern off of we've that. We've got about four or five pieces of this thing. You have good books we, for that? Because I do. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. My goodness. Mother of Pearl, hand carved, two button, two hole. That's interesting. Right. Backing on it, or? That's nice. That's potentially pretty early. Okay. Potentially. Okay. But I don't know. The hand carved stuff. That's neat. 